भारतीय जनता पार्टी एंड द अकाली दल फाइटिंग सेपरेटली थ्रोइंग ओपन द प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ अ फोर कॉर्नर्ड फाइट इन पंजाब वॉट हैपन इन दिस क्रूशल बैटल ग्राउंड स्टेट द कांग्रेस एंड द आम आदमी पार्टी हैव टू फाइट सेपरेटली लॉट टॉक अबाउट द अकालीज इन द बीजेपी पोटेंशियली कमिंग टूगेदर एंड लास्ट मिनट लाइन्स दैट नाउ ऑल्सो फ्रॉम वॉट वी वर्ड फ्रॉम द बीजेपी स्टेट प्रेजिडेंट इज इंट हैपनिंग Joining me now is Naresh Gujral, senior leader of the Akali Dal, somebody who's seen the ins and outs of Punjab politics over the decades. Mr. Gujral, welcome, and it's good to have you with us. Why is it that the Akalis and the BJP, despite party okay. leaders on both sides saying they wanted an alliance, why is it that they couldn't come together and forge an alliance this time round? Rahul, you're right. We. we wanted to come together there were a couple of rounds of talks but unfortunately they did not fructify because akali dal had put forward certain demands which are really the aspirations of the farmers and the punjabis and uh, unfortunately the bjp could not meet them hence now you see that we will fight separately no but can you explain what is it specifically that went wrong Oh, was it a problem about who gets how many seats what was the well, issue i think that was incidental the main issue was that why did we split in the first place we were the oldest allies of bjp but we separated on the issue of the farmers you would recall when the farmers were agitating for over 7 months that is the time we decided to separate from the bjp at that time after 7 months and almost 650 deaths later the prime minister came on national television asked the farmers to go back and assured them that talks would be held and a solution will be found to their demands unfortunately in the last 2 to 3 years nothing has been done and the farmers are again on the road now we are a farmers party 95% of our cadre are farmers our leadership is all are all farmers now how can we justify coalescing with a party which has not paid heed to the farmers demands even after giving them assurances so that is the crux of the problem you know i'm also looking at this statement that's been put out by the akalis after it was made clear that there'll be no truck with the bjp in this election which talks a lot about uh you know people who've been convicted on various cases actually being freed uh the release of bandi singhs who've completed their term that this is a promise that's been made and if you go down the list of people who are being asked to be freed it seems that the akali dal is pivoting once again to hardcore panthic politics is that how you hope to find your identity again now that you're not in alliance with the bjp Rahul we believe that the laws of the land should be applied to everybody equitably you cannot differentiate we have certain laws there are people who have who have finished their terms there are people who were convicted for 18 years they've been languishing in jails for over 30 years now the this is a demand of all punjabis and especially the the the, the party that represents them that those who have finished their terms you let them free you've done it in other parts of the country even even rajiv gandhi's killers have been released why are you not or, or in a way singling out one community and the community feels very hurt and assurances were given to this community time and again but those assurances have not been kept but this also is a very dangerous game to play because people who've been convicted of murder people who've been convicted of terrorism if the akali start waving their flags then in rural punjab uh, which is always a hot spot for all kinds of activities as we've seen in the 80s and the 90s uh, that is a that is a fire that can explode if uh, the akalis go down this route we are not going down any route all we are saying is the laws of the country are same for every community and every state those who have completed their terms who have in fact there were people who were convicted for 18 years or life imprisonment have spent over 35 years others have been given 
But as I said, even Rajiv Gandhi's killers have been let free now. Paroles have been given. In this case, no parole is given. We are not saying that the killers that you killed today and tomorrow you should be released. Yes, we respect the laws of the nation. But at the same time, the laws must be uniformly implemented in this country and not one community should not be seen as victims of those laws. And the fact also is that Akalis are now a diminished force in Punjab politics. The real battle is between the AAP and the Congress and uh, Akalis and the BJP, now that they're especially fighting separately, uh, are not quite the force that they used to be. Is that uh, a fair statement, do you think, or would you like to contest that? The date, that's what I the data that says. Your opinion. No, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm only looking at the last data. assembly elections. I'm looking at the last assembly elections. I'm looking at the data from the last assembly elections. How, uh, uh, 117 seats for the Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, 92, so, are, uh, 92 seats for AAP out of 117. Congress gets 18. The mighty Akalis only get 3. The BJP had 2. You're now down to 18.38% of vote share. My friend, in politics, Things move very fast. And on the, at the ground level, if you go to Punjab, you will see things have moved. The kind of crowds that Mr. Sukhbir Badal is drawing today are unprecedented. The way people are now coming to Akali Dal is unprecedented. Have you seen there are people leaving parties and joining other parties? Have you seen one Akali Dal leader leave? In fact, they're all coming back. Why are they coming back? Because they know that it's a strong party it is going to do well, and the future of Punjab is linked with the Akali Dal. It's a re strong regional party. And you will see the results on the 1st of June, that, or, or the 4th of June, when the results come out. We are going to do exceptionally well. No, but we've already had Ravneet Singh Bittu. And if we did not have that confidence... The Ludhiana MP joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. I now, if we did not have the confidence... Now the Jalandhar MP Sushil Kumar yeah. Rinku is also joining uh, the BJP uh, Sheetal. Uh, Angural has joined the BJP, Jalandhar West MLA. It seems that a lot of the traffic is, in fact, after it was announced that there's no alliance with the Akalis, a lot of the political traffic now seems to be going to the BJP, sir. This is the season for migratory birds. People who feel that they would be denied tickets by their own parties are now migrating to other parties. Now, I don't want to comment on their performance, but the fact is that if they have a feeling that their own political party will not uh, give them the ticket again and they move, that really goes to show their, their political plight. But sir, like a bit too, there was no indication that he wouldn't be given the ticket. Maybe he thinks that the BJP is a safer pasture for him and which is why he's chosen to go. That is what not I am hearing. I, I believe he, the, in, there were indications that he may not get the Congress ticket and he thinks that he, he, he could uh, do better with, with, with the BJP. But the fact is that the, the, if you look pan Punjab, BJP at best, like you saw in the by-election in Jalandhar, where half a dozen ministers went and parked themselves there for a couple of weeks, where the, the senior leadership of RSS was there, Despite that, they could not touch 18% vote share. Now, even when four parties fight, the threshold to, to become an MP would be somewhere near 28, 29%. Now, I don't see that happening when these migratory birds move to BJP. Yes, they could improve their margin by 2%, 3%, but to touch 28, 29, 30%, I don't think is possible. Finally, is a alliance still possibly on the cards because the elections in Punjab are last last phase, first of June. So you still have some time to change your mind. Is there behind the scene dialogue still on between the Akalis of the BJP or does no really mean no? No, right now it is a no because there are no dialogues happening. There are no talks happening. We have put forward our demands. We have put forward the aspirations of the, the, the farmers, the aspirations of the Sikh community, the aspirations of the Punjabis. Now that's up to BJP to decide whether they are willing to concede anything or not. If not, then we fight separately and we will all see the results and we will all see 
how much we are loved in Punjab on the 4th of June when the results come out. All right, we'll all find out who's loved in Punjab on the 4th of June indeed. Naresh Gujral for joining us. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best.